Let's start with the fact that Brazil is the largest country in South America with a diverse nature. Can you imagine the Amazon's jungle, the sunny coast of the Atlantic Ocean, high mountains, and stormy rivers? It's a country with a rich and diverse culture because its formation was influenced by European, African, and Native American peoples. That's why it is not surprising that many travelers try to get here to discover all the beauties of the country. In this episode, you can open the fascinating world of unusual traditions of Brazil. First of all, subscribe to our channel and like this video. Brazilian poor districts are called favelas, and they are located on hills and in mountainous areas in the largest cities of Brazil. The views are beautiful, but there are no communications and infrastructure, and danger can be felt in the air. The government is actually being held by drug traffickers and corrupt police. Among the main problems of such areas are the huge flow of drug trafficking, the massive presence of weapons, as well as poverty and unsanitary conditions. From time to time, the Brazilian government makes attempts to solve the situation, but these attempts bring weak results and are rather only the way to pretend to have good intentions. Brazilian cuisine is considered the most refined in South America. Tourists usually remain delighted with the local dishes, which is wonderful considering that the locals will not appreciate the criticism at all and will even be outraged when someone doesn't like their food. In addition, even if it seems more practical to eat french fries with your hands, never do this. This is highly discouraged here. Even sandwiches or burgers are usually taken with a napkin. And people eating pizza do it exclusively with a knife and fork. Noiva do Codero is a small town in Brazil inhabited exclusively by women. They have their own rules and their own system of organization of work and life. Residents of the Amazon city are not supporters of same-sex love, one can even get married, but husbands are allowed to visit the city strictly on a schedule. The same goes for sons who have reached adulthood. Almost all residents of Neiva do Codero work in agriculture, trade, and the service sector. In the town, everyone has the same rights and helps each other, and they organize contests and parties in their free time. Besides deadly snakes and rainforests, Brazil has another natural wonder. This huge wave comes to the Amazon twice a year, raising 800 kilometers upstream. It's accompanied by a crazy roar. This phenomenon is called Pororoca. During this period, the waters of the river flow in the opposite direction, forming a huge breakwater. The salty water flow becomes more powerful as the river narrows. The wave height is from 4 to 6 meters, and its speed is from 20 to 27 kilometers per hour. Unsurprisingly, it can bring destruction and devastation to coastal areas. At the same time, it attracts extreme surfers from all over the world. Someone might have heard about this place thanks to the unique remains of a prehistoric giant sloth and a saber-toothed tiger found here. Candido Godoy in the northwest of Brazil is a city of mystery. The most interesting thing is that the number of twins here is really high. Twins are born in this city about every 10th pregnancy. There is a possibility that the reason for this phenomenon was the experiments of the Nazi doctor Joseph Mengel, who fled to Latin America after the defeat of Germany. It's impossible to prove this, so we can only wait for more plausible explanations. Every two years, Candido Godoy holds a large-scale festival, which attracts twins from all over the country. Bottled oil is popular in northeastern Brazil. It's similar to the popular Indian ghee oil and is an essential product for cooking various dishes in this region, giving them a special flavor. Cow's milk is melted together with butter until it reaches the desired consistency and bright yellow color. It's difficult to say something about its benefits. At the same time, you can't ignore its amazing taste. Any dish with the addition of such oil becomes unforgettable.
The music and dances of Brazil are very diverse, complex, and colorful. Their development was influenced by the ingrained culture of local Indian tribes. There are no restrictions and rules for dancing in Brazil. In every corner of Brazil, you can find something new, extraordinary, and really energetic. Rio de Janeiro is known for its incendiary samba, which has more than 20 types. The persistent rhythms of the music, passion, and emotionality are sure to be remembered by everyone who has seen the performances of Brazilians at least once. The city of Manaus is located in the confluence of the Amazon and Rio Negro. Rubber was once mined here, so those who worked in production built houses by the water. At that same time, there were about 2,000 houses in which a total of 11,000 people live. Even after the factories closed, the buildings remained on the water because there was no need to pay rent and land tax, and impoverished residents could earn a living by fishing. This place attracted tourists with its unusual atmosphere and its incredible surrounding nature. However, in the second half of the 1960s, the floating city was demolished. Given the crime rate in Brazil, this rule is quite strange. Nevertheless, there is a ban on detaining or arresting citizens in the run-up to elections. Fortunately, there are exceptions. They relate to suspects in criminal offenses, terrorism, and drug trafficking. Such a law was passed to avoid arbitrary arrests sanctioned by rival political parties to distort election results. At the same time, we don't know whether it's effective. Personal hygiene is something sacred for Brazilians. Brazilians always carry a toothbrush, floss, and a small tube of toothpaste with them. After each meal, they visit the restroom and protect their teeth and mouth. No wonder the snow white smile of Brazilians is one of the best known features of the nation. At the same time, in this way, you can significantly reduce the dental costs. The city of Salvador is the capital of the state of Bahia. It is famous for its stunning architecture and numerous churches. There are 365 churches operating here, and locals even joke that each falls on one day a year. Most of the population is Catholic. Candomble, Protestantism, and Mormonism are also widespread here. The city is full of an architectural variety of religious buildings, and local residents often visit different churches. There are not many cases in history when animals have managed to defend their habitat. Nevertheless, this is one of them. 35 kilometers from the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo is the picturesque island of Quiamata Grande. I have to say that its charming appearance is deceptive. It is believed that the density of the snake population on the island is from 1 to 5 snakes per square meter. That's why it is often called the Island of Snakes. Venomous snakes can be found here. One of them is the Golden Lancehead, which has perhaps the most toxic poison in the world. Entry to this island is prohibited, and access to it is possible only with the assistance of the Brazilian Navy and exclusively for research. The OK gesture is well known in all English-speaking countries, as well as in Europe and Asia, but in some parts of our planet, this gesture has a completely different origin and meaning. In Brazil, it is considered an obscene and vulgar symbol. This gesture can only be used as a very rude insult here. Brazilians like to spend a lot of time buying clothes and trying to create a perfect look. In Brazil, there's a popular technique that helps fight split ends of hair. It's called velotherapy. It's a rather laborious and lengthy process, taking two to three and a half hours. When conducting it, the hair is divided into small sections, twisted, and then quickly burned over the flame of a candle at the ends. As a result, the damaged tips are sealed and care products are applied to the rest of the hair. 
It should be noted that not all experts consider this procedure to be effective and safe. Even if you don't know anything about Brazil, you've probably at least heard about the Carnival in Rio de Janeiro. Carnival is a samba parade and a theatrical show held in the city center for a huge number of spectators, where the most famous schools compete for the title of winner. Throughout the year, the best dance schools prepare for it by choosing costumes, themes, platforms, and all other elements. It is also held in other cities such as Sao Paulo, Salvador, and Belo Horizonte, but it is Rio that is known all over the world for its magnificent, colorful, emotional, and bright folk festival. It brought great income to Brazil, attracting tourists from all over the world. Long before the arrival of Europeans on the territory of modern South America, people living in the western part of Brazil carved hundreds of geometric shapes on the ground. These mysterious earthen patterns are called geoglyphs. They are proof that a large community of people once lived in the Amazon rainforest. According to research, they cleared small areas in the forest on which they built houses and ceremonial structures, as well as arranged agricultural land. Long grooves dug in the form of fairly precise circles and squares stretch up to 300 meters wide. Most of them are 2300 to 1000 years old. The Amazon rainforest covers an area of 5.5 million square kilometers. This is a unique wildlife, a place where you can see unique flora and fauna. In addition, this forest is fraught with many dangers. The most dangerous of them are wild tribes. According to some scientists, there are about 400 of them. In addition, the Amazon jungle is home to many animals that can pose a serious danger to humans. Of the large predators, jaguar and caiman live here, as well as various snakes and a brown recluse spider. Being late in Brazil is not a cost of living in big cities and is not an unpleasant accident. This is a kind of tradition, an unspoken rule. I have to say it is useless to fight with it. We're talking not about 15 minutes, but an entire hour. To come to visit on time means to show tactlessness and impatience. In some cases, you'll have to wait until the hosts finish their business and finally accept you. Even official events, the start time of which is strictly determined by the protocol, begin with a delay. Nudist beaches are not very common in Brazil. Nevertheless, they are beautiful and well-equipped in their own way. One of the most famous places in the world for those who like to sunbathe without bathing suits is Brazil's first naturist beach, Praia do Pino, located in the southern state of Santa Catarina. Tourists adore the beach for its golden sand and extraordinarily beautiful nature. By the way, such beaches usually have entertainment for every taste, as well as many bars and restaurants. Beer is an incredibly popular drink in Brazil. The most interesting thing is that it is popular not because of the taste characteristics or unusual cooking technology, but due to its ability to unite people. It is difficult to imagine any event that would have done without this drink. Beer helps you make new acquaintances, find friends, relax, and unwind a bit wherever you are. For the majority of people, the town of Bonito is a picturesque nature, forests, grottos, clear rivers, transparent lakes, and noisy waterfalls. One of the main attractions here is the Grotto of the Blue Lake. This is a huge cave with snow-white bizarre stalactites discovered in 1924 in which an underground lake is hidden. It is about 90 meters deep. The play of light in the cave gives the waters of the lake a surprisingly bright and pure blue color. Brazil's beautiful beaches are a special part of the country's identity, along with football and samba. White sand, clear water, and an atmosphere of eternal celebration are not everything you need to know. Women here take their appearance and swimsuit choices very seriously. 
Most often, they choose really saucy clothing which contributes to a uniform tan and demonstration of good physical shape. According to official data, Brazil has one of the highest crime rates in the world. Before traveling to this country, it's important to know how to protect yourself so that the trip ends safely. In addition to avoiding obviously dangerous places, locals are well aware that one should not show off one's own wealth. It is better to keep expensive jewelry for other places. In addition, it is better not to take out gadgets and keep your wallet with you. Valle de Lua, or Moon Valley, is a desert area with natural pools. It is considered one of the most unusual places on the planet for a reason. The valley got its name due to the worn gray stones resembling the lunar surface. One can find a lot of bulges and depressions created by the currents, tides, and ebbs, which resemble small craters. According to scientists, this quartz ensemble is about 2 billion years old. All this time, the waters of the river polished the rocks and stormy lava flows created unique tunnels. Favelas in Brazil, although famous for rampant crime and poverty, are also an integral part of culture. The best samba schools originate from the favelas. Without favelas, it is unlikely that the famous Carnival would be so grandiose. At the same time, the world-famous footballers Romario and Ronaldo spent their childhood here. It did not prevent them from successfully realizing themselves and becoming popular. The same can be said about the former UFC champion Anderson Silva. Today, about 6% of all Brazilians are residents of favelas. Brazil is a tropical country, so the variety of snakes here is quite large. Among them, there are both poisonous and completely harmless ones. There are also anacondas with the length exceeding 5 meters. Moreover, such an intimidating giant can easily be found in the urban green zone or even on the road. As you can see, such a slow creature created a small traffic jam on the road blocking the highway. Of course, the appearance of the snake aroused the curiosity of drivers. They could not sit still and went out to take pictures of it. Even though our episode is almost over, we would like to cheer you up and let you know that a new one will be released soon. Don't forget to click the bell so as to not miss it.